let's learn how to find the square root of a perfect square number quickly in your mind without any calculations before getting started let's remember we can use this technique only for perfect square numbers to be able to use this method you need to know the squares of the first 10 numbers let's note it down here let us only highlight the units digit of these numbers if you note carefully one square and nine square have the units digit of one two square and eight square have the units digit of four similarly three square and seven square have the units digit of nine four square and six square have the units digit of six five square will have the units digit of five and ten square will have the units digit of zero with this understanding we'll dive into our first example 4489 in our technique we'll first consider the units digit 9 from our table we can say that the units digit of the answer should be either 3 or 7 only then the square will be ending in a 9 so let's keep these two options once this step is done we will be ignoring the last two digits of our question so leaving out 89 we are left with the number 44 take this 44 and find out where this 44 lies among these numbers we can say it falls between 36 and 49 which is 6 square and 7 square the tens digit of our answer will definitely be the smaller one which is 6 let's note it down here so our answer should be either 63 or 67 to find out that let's multiply this tens digit 6 with the next consecutive number 7 6 into 7 is 42 now we'll compare this 44 with the 42 since 44 is greater than 42 our answer should be the greater number which is 67 square root of 4489 is 67 this method 
initially seems a little confusing. But let's do some more examples to make it easier. Next example, the square root of 5, 0, 4, 1. First step, take the units digit 1. So you could either have 1 or a 9 in the units place. Let us note it down here. Now cut out the last two digits and consider only 50. 50 falls between 49 and 64 which is 7 squared and 8 squared. Remember we will consider only the smaller number 7. So our answer should be either 71 or 79. To find that out, let's multiply this number 7 with the next consecutive number 8. 7 into 8 is 56. Since 50 is less than 56, our answer should be the lesser number 71. So square root of 5041 is 71. Next example 8836. The units digit is 6 means we can have either 4 or 6 in the units place of our answer. Next, let's cut out the last two digits 36 and consider 88. 88 falls between 81 and 100 which is between 9 square and 10 square. Let's consider the smaller number 9. Our answer could be 94 or 96. To find that out, let's take this 9 and multiply it with the next number 10. 9 into 10 is 90. Since 88 is smaller than 90, we can say that the smaller number 94 is our answer. Square root of 8836 is 94. Now let's understand what happens in this case. Square root of 4225. The last digit is 5, which means the units digit of the answer will be only a 5. So, our work is easier. Next, let's ignore the 25 and consider 42. In our table, this 42 falls between 36 and 49, 6 square and 7 square. We'll consider the smaller one 6. And that's it. We have our answer 65. 
finally here's a question for you to find out pause the video here and try to work it out mentally considering the last digit 4 you could either have 2 or 8 then considering 33 which falls between 5 square and 6 square we have the tens digit as 5 and multiplying 5 with the next number 6 we get 30. 33 is larger than 30. That means the larger number is our answer. 58. Hope you got that right. We can also use a similar method to find out the cube root. Let's see that in our next video.